Douglas. How you guys doing, man? Good to see y'all again. Good to be here with y'all, man. Uh, let us start with a big apology. I always start with apologies, I guess, now. But, you know, um, I just want to say sorry for taking so long. I mean, you know, making the videos and stuff like that. Uh, I hit a little rough patch um, right now, but I'm trying to get right back on it. Okay, guys, uh, give me give me some time, uh, but I will come back pretty soon. But beside that, leaving that behind, I think I got a great video from y'all. It's something that came back from a. It's, it's one of my childhood uh, uh, cartoons. It's a long time ago. I used to watch. It gotta do. It gotta do with being a ninja. And being a turtle. Kawabunga dudes. Hopefully you know what it is. Alright, with that said, let's go. Oh, what the locals, how you guys doing, man? I just got some pizza, dude. I went to Pizza Hut and got some pizza. Now, Pizza Hut, they're not promoting this video, but I don't care about that. What I'm trying to tell you is they're doing a promotion, I guess right now, Pizza Hut. They're doing a promotion with teenage mutant ninja turtles. Now if you don't remember those guys, those, you know, the turtles and ninjas, I think everybody's seen them. I grew up watching them, and they had a great thing today. Let me show you what it is. Let me show you how, how it look. Check it out. Look it out. Look at that. That is the one and only Michelangelo, guys. This is my favorite character, Michelangelo. After I finished eating the pizza, yes, pizza. After finishing the pizza, back up over here. After finishing the pizza, I will. I want. I want to cut of that uh, box. See how it comes out. Hopefully, it comes out great. And maybe add another. Maybe add another drawing with that. All right, let's go. Hey, about the locals, man. It's been a while that I haven't been here with y'all, but it's all right. It's cool. Um, missed y'all. Missed being here with y'all. Um, like I said in the, in the beginning, I had a, you know, a, um, I need to take a break. I really needed to take a break. Um, I stopped drawing for a while. I stopped doing anything for a while. Um, and just, you know, life just got with me. Um, Christmas time, Thanksgiving time, all this holiday season just came at me really fast. And, uh. So, yeah, and I got a family, kids, I got my kids and stuff like that. So, I got super busy. I got life going on on me and work. And it was just crazy, guys. So, I just needed to take a break. But hopefully, I am back starting again with these videos again and getting back with them. You know, so, like I, like you said, like I said in the beginning, we're talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, the first, very first thing you're going to see me drawing or you see me coloring right now, is this box. Is this Pixar box uh, from Pizza Hut, you know. Oh, hey, Pizza Hut. Come on, man. Sponsor some people. At least with a free pizza. Man, give me at least a pizza. But, yeah, well, you know, I doubt it. But, again, um, this is the, the, the character I am painting here is Mikey... From the Teenage Ninja Turtles. Now, there are four Ninja Turtles. You know, there's Raphael, near uh, uh, Raphael, Mikey, uh, Michelangelo. No, well, that's Mikey. Uh, Raphael. Oh my God, Leonardo, Leonardo, and uh, Donatello. You know, um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying the other guy's name right for some reason, but oh right, well, well, my favorite, very, very one, always, always been Mikey because of his personality. You know, Mikey, Mikey's the, you know, the cool, fun, young guy. I love Mikey. You know, he's awesome. So when I got this pizza box, I'm like, oh my god, I gotta do. You know, I got to pick this thing. But I have alcohol markers, all right? So I have never, ever, ever used alcohol markers on a cardboard box. I didn't even know, I, I didn't even know if the cutter was going to go down right. Now, it's 
Very different from painting from a from a paper, a piece of paper. The cardboard box is it absorbs so much, way lot more ink, but also it goes down darker because well the cardboard boxes it is brown so it goes in darker but you know i didn't think about that going in now i'm thinking about it now that i'm talking with y'all and you know coming to a realization that oh uh, duh it makes sense you know it's a brown cardboard box but you know when i was in it doing it uh no that that sense never came in <laughs> to be in my mind so it, it was just just go in it, you know, just just blind you stupidly went in it. Um if I had a chance to redo it, you know, probably I would use uh alcohol no not alcohol, acrylic paint or alcohol or oil paint on it instead of alcohol markers. But uh, I kinda didn't like it though, man. You know, it 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 came up pretty decent for me i mean after it dried out it, it came all right you know it, it just i don't know i i really don't know i, I guess when you when you pulling it when you put putting down the colors at the beginning it always seems more darker than what it is but once you allow it to dry get that dry phase out you know it it's the true color comes out and then that's when you can see like oh well it's not that bad you know i kind of do like it now when it's a, when it's a piece of paper when you put it when you put the color down yes it's a little brighter but it, it's so fast that as soon as you go in and a couple of streaks it already dried out and it's already you know the true color but i don't know for some reason on the cardboard box it just took that longer period to dry out so i, I was just kind of nervous for a while He's like oh hopefully it does come out hopefully it comes out you know hopefully i choose the right jello hopefully i choose the, you know like oh my god I, I don't know if if have i chose the wrong colors here i went too bright on the green you know the yellow is not the right yellow I, I was just confused, but again, guys, I, I think it came out pretty decent and pretty good, um, but I don't know. Let's see what you guys think. What do you guys think about the colorful box uh, uh, coloring uh, page from, uh, from Pixar Hut? Now, of course, um, when this Pixar, when this Pixar box came out, they were promoting the new uh, Michael, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie that was coming out, and you know they were promoting this thing. Now the movie's already been out; it's old, uh, it's an old thing. But when I recorded this, it was just you know they were promoting the Pixar. But if you guys have those, you know, if you guys ever seen another guy cut of these same boxes, these boxes from. Uh, from Pizza Hut, and you guys find them and make a screenshot or something, send them out to me. You know, put them out in the comments and see see who else painted these cardboard boxes from the Ninja Ninja Turtle. I would like to see other people if other people did it out there in the world. Uh, but well, I did and see how it came out. Now, now coming to my my drawing, and my drawing, I decided to go. A different route from Michelangelo. Now, again, like I said, Michelangelo is my favorite character from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, besides Michelangelo, there's Donatello. Donatello, the sword guy, you know, um, the one in control, the one in command. Uh, uh, He's another guy I respect, and uh, because you know he's like the leadership. He's like the one who's a leader, always taking in charge. Always, you know, he has the the weight of his brothers, you know, with him, and this and that. Always responsible for his brothers, and I like that because, in uh, some sense, I you know, you just, every I think everybody in life ever goes through that stage. And, and and I think everybody goes in life where you could you could put yourself in any 
turtle. You know, there's some points in your life where you could be Mike, Michael. You know, you have that goofy, fun time in your life. And everybody goes through the Michael and Angel stage. You know, then you go through the Raphael stage where you're mad and angry and, you know, don't touch me. Don't don't talk to me. Don't, you know, you go through that stage. So everybody goes through that stage. Then you go to, you know, to the Donatello. No, uh uh, I'm missing that another guy. Um, Donatello? Is it Donatello? No, Donatello is that's the guy. Um, yeah, then we got um, Donatello, right? Donatello, he's not the leader, but he's the, you know, the geek guy, you know, the gadget guy, guy with the stick, you know, with the staff for me. You know, hey, well, I don't know if we all you know, become geeks one time in our period or not time, but, you know, uh, the guys who get into gadgets, like, you know, getting their phones, getting stuff like that, I guess, I don't know, but then we get into Leo, you know, Leo, he's the one I keep forgetting his name, but Leonardo, Neo, we get to Leo, Leo is a leader, you know, he's the one with the samurai swords, you know, he's the one out there taking everybody, you know, it's Leo, sorry, I know, I said Donatello, but it's Leo, uh, don't kill me, people, please don't kill me with that, <laughs> well, then we got Leo, you know, uh, and again, I, I think everybody falls in that step before, where, you know, you sometimes, you feel you're carrying your whole family, especially the guys, you know, especially the dads in the house, especially the, you know, the head of the household, it could be, it could be the woman as well, who's the head of the household, but I think we all fall to that step, sometimes that leadership and that head, you know, where we have the whole weight of the whole family with us, you know, and, and I wanted to take that leadership with Leo, and, um, Again, but I wanted to change stuff. So, like I said in 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 when I started this video, I needed a break. I needed something. You know, I was going through a rough patch as well through my myself. But I needed I needed a break from this because I had I had Christmas, Thanksgiving. I had you know all these holidays coming in so fast. I had uh, so much things going on in my family. I needed a break. So. For some reason, um, I, I remember I remember watching the um, the Ninja Turtles movie. I think it was a part two from the nineties. You know when they came out like real life. You know, and and I think in part two the movie the part two movie uh, uh, um, the the um, oh my god the the uh, master uh, splinter, the rat, you know, um, they killed him, right? Then you could see the turtles, you know, just lose, lose hope completely. You know, they were just, you know, they just gone off it, you know. So I wanted to get, you know, I wanted to kind of get that, that scene because that's, I was, I, I, it's not that I lost somebody in my life, but I just kind of felt, you know, hard. Um, like I was trying to, um, I don't know, I was, I was feeling weird. You know, I wasn't sad. But I wasn't alone. I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I really don't know how to explain it to But this is what I came up with, you know. I came up with Leo. Uh, he's the only one alive, you know, he lost Raphael, he lost Donatello, and he lost Michelangelo, and he got, you know, he was able to save, you know, their, their weapons, and he's able to save their bandanas, and, you know, he's mourning for his lost brothers, um, and I put him in that pose, you know, kneeling down, kind of like giving up, but not giving up, you know, remembering, you know, their brothers and stuff like that. And, and that's what I came out with, um, finally, uh, being in design. Now, I, I, I was planning to go farther with this drawing. I was planning to, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe, yeah, like, I like, uh, somehow add the other three brothers, uh, like, uh, 
like a memory thing on 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 Leo's mind while he's right there leaning down, or you know, or like a spiritual or ghostly spirit or whatever. I I, I, I I really don't know. I was lost, guys. I really was lost. This is what I just came up with, and this is the design I came up when I was drawing, sketching this. And I was happy with this. And like, okay, I got to put this down. I got to I gotta go with this. And, and, and that's where you see me going with this. Once I got to this stage, I didn't think about the buzz until I was finished. You know, so I was then I was finished. And I was thinking, I'm like, okay, we can see that you know the three brothers are gone. But should I put them or not put them? Should I do it? So, put a time out, pause right out, guys. Before we continue, I want to give y'all uh, some small pictures I posted in, in uh, my um, a TikTok account. I think I put a drawing uh, before this one. And it's called My Garden Angel. I will put it somewhere here where you can see it somewhere like there. Um, it's called Garden Angel. I did that one uh, drawing, uh, something that came out from my design. And uh, basically, this drawing came out from a drawing that my mom, a painting that my mom likes to call The Garden Angel, where the angel is guarding two little kids walking down a bridge. And, um, I wanted to do something with that theme, Garden Angel, uh, for my mom, and I came out with that drawing. Hopefully, you guys like it. Uh, we'll, I will get, I will be giving this drawing to my mom pretty soon, and I will try to get her reaction to this drawing. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Let's go. Anything with them or not, you know. So, again, I was thinking about it for a long time, but... At the very end, guys, I just did not want to do it. I, I, I just, I think I kind of made the right decision and just kept them out of the drawing completely and left it like that, you know. Um, and it was weird, guys. I uh, I did not want to draw Leo this way. That was not my plan from the beginning. That uh, My plan was to draw Mikey, uh, um, because I was already paint, I was already coloring Mikey. You know, I was already doing Mikey from the cardboard box. And I'm like, and I love Mike and Angelo. Dude. I love Michael. And he's like, I like, okay, I'm gonna do Michael. That's cool. I finished. I finished the cardboard box. And like, I'm gonna do Michael. But I finished the cardboard box, and I was like, it took me maybe a couple of, couple of days to get in. To the drawing um, uh, to do my uh, to do this one I did Leo, but when I got to the paper when I sat down and had a paper ready to sketch what I was gonna do, for some reason I couldn't draw Mikey. I was not in the mood for Mikey. I was just not feeling Mikey. I was not feeling happy. I was not feeling joyful. I was not feeling what Mikey is, and and I think that's the best thing when you could put what you feeling in the piece of paper. You know what comes out in the piece of paper. You know, I think that what I think that what makes art art. You know, sometimes art you could look at it and you're like, what the heck is that? But whatever that person felt at that moment, that's what came out in a piece of paper. You know, and that's what came out to me in that moment. It, it's crazy because again, I have usually when I do characters. Especially cartoon characters that I already designed, uh, like the Naruto series I've done and the Homie series I've done and stuff like that. You know, I kind of keep it to the to the own. You know, just uh, just find a picture and, and try to recreate it and stuff like that. Change here, little things here and there, but you know, kind of keep it simple to the uh, uh, to the original drawings as it is. This time I didn't. I just wanted to go to my own thing. And yes, I saw. I'm not saying that yeah, I created completely. No, yes, I saw different drawings. I diff I saw different uh, sketches. I saw different, you know, paint arts and 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 stuff like that. And got reference references uh, to do this drawing. Yes, I did. I'm not saying I didn't. But again, it's just it's just something that 
call to me to do it this way again what is it i don't know i wasn't feeling that you know the way mikey felt i wasn't feeling michael Raphael, sorry and i was definitely not feeling donatello so i was going for leo you know and and leo i think he's the one who felt the if 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 you if this ever been true, I think Leo will take it the hardest from all the other brothers. You know, if everything happened as Michael, if if he loses his brother, yes, I think he will be sad. But you know, eventually Michael's Michael, and he will you know overcome it. I think, I think, I hope so. I I, I kind of I hope wish i ho- hopefully wish Michael will never change. So. You know, then Rafael, Rafael is always a hard-headed guy. He would just go on a rampage. I think he would just lose control. You know, uh, Donatello, I guess he would just get into the work attic so much. I think he would just become a, you know, he would never get out of the cave. He would just do everything, you know, get in the gadgets and try to do everything, you know, um, hidden and, and, you know, just lock himself out. Now the world completely... But then Leo, Leo not. I think Leo will take it so hard that he will fight, but he will take it so hard on his life where he will never forget his brothers. He will never, I'm not saying the others, the others would, but I don't know. I just think Leo, Leo will take it the hardest for me. I don't know. What do you guys think, guys? I, I'm pretty sure we all have seen uh, the Ninja Turtles. I'm pretty sure you all seen it since since you were small kids. Tell me, tell me what you guys think, and 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 if you could put one of these characters in this situation, this drawing, who would you put, and how would you think they will react? That's the first thing. And another thing I want you to tell me is which character do you like the most? You know, which one do you think you're more relating personality to you know i'm more closer to Donatello, i'm more closer to leo I'm more closer to rob who do you think i i always think i'm more closer to michelangelo but it's i just because i just like him you know i think that's why and i believe a lot of people are gonna choose michael because everybody likes michael you know <laughs> but i don't know let me know who you like guys I would really like to hear who you guys like. And thank you again, guys, for uh, staying with me for this long. Uh, thank you for, you know, being patient for me, uh, going through this rough patch and through my YouTube channel. I just started, but, you know, it's, uh, it, it just takes time. It takes time. It takes, it takes a lot of time of your life, you know, when you have so much things going on at the same time on real life come on hey Bato Locos thank you for making it this far man um you are true Bato Loco and for that salute you Bato Locos all right guys thank you for making it and hopefully you guys do like this drawing with this said uh, I will be coming up with more different drawings I'm gonna try Come on up with my own style, my my own drawings now. I do have some drawings, but I need to uh, post uh, back drawings. I still need to finish my Naruto drawings. I still need to finish all those drawings still. But I want to focus more on my own drawings from this point on. Uh, I am doing my stuff, some of my drawings already as it is. But with that said, that will be later down those videos. Later down this time, sorry. <laughs> uh, but let's get on with this video. Let's see the final sexy shots at five, four, three, two, one. Here we go.
dancing. 